Welcome professionals to Caprice of God to setting up your LinkedIn profile. If you're wondering how to get started, I'm going to show you your skills and exercises so you can be creative and compelling here and to LinkedIn. The very first thing you wanted to do is to set up a profile picture and a cover photo. In this case, what I wanted to do is to focus into the actual creation of the setting up my LinkedIn profile. When you created your account, you go directly here into LinkedIn, go into join. Now it's going to be asking you how would you like to be called, where are you currently at, uh, your, profession, your profile, of course, help discover the new opportunities, go most recent job title is going to here, for example, editor. And you can find video editor, you can find a lot of options here. Employment type, in my case, it should be freelance and the most recent company. Once again, I'm going to go for freelancing self-employed so once you are inside the actual LinkedIn the very first thing you wanted to do in order to have and showcase your scale and expertise is focusing into the profile picture and the cover photo the first impression matters if you want to choose a professional picture that highlights your face and excludes confidence select a cover photo that reflects your personality or your industry you want to ensure both images are high quality and visually appearing so I'm going to go in here where it says me, go for view profile, and here what you wanted to do is to go and focus here inside this section so we can add a background photo. So you can showcase here your personality, interested in time, team moments are notable for uh, milestones. Since I am here a video editor, what I wanted to do is to add stuff about video editing. And here what I wanted to do is to add an interesting image about myself. Next, it's the headline and the summary. You wanted to craft a captivating headline that summarizes your professional identity and grabs attention. You wanted to use keywords relevant to your industry to optimize your profile. And how you can actually focus on, I'm going to go here inside this section and you can see you have the intro. So here you can see that we have the actual headline. And here, of course, is going to be showing you the actual summary. So what I wanted to do is to, of course, just choose this element. And if you want, you can always go with chat EBD. We can help you to add stuff with artificial intelligence so you can have a really strong, great headline. So check out this one. This is an actual headline. It's going to be short and precise. So I use my keywords relevant to my industry and I have the background overview skills and the career aspirations. Now, what you wanted to do is go into safe and scroll a little bit down to focus into the experience and the education. Here, what you wanted to do is to detail your work experience, including job titles, companies and responsibilities. You want to highlight achievements and quantify results when possible. Don't forget to add your education background, including degree certifications and relevant college work. Now, it's going to be really important, guys, that if you are a freelancer, you want to specify what did you do? What were the activities in the societies? The more described you are from your work, the better. Next is to focus into your skill and endorsements. List your key skills and exercise your showcase your strengths, encourage college connections, and endorse your skills to validate your prophecy to keep your skills updated to reflect your involving capabilities. Inside more, you want to focus versus suggested for you, add a skill, and here you wanted to add as much as you can. Then what you wanted to do is now to focus into the recommendations and accomplishments. Request recommendations from colleagues, supervisors, or clients to add credibility to your profile. This could be helping you display awards, honors, publications, and relevant projects to demonstrate your achievements and contributions. And for that, you can always look out for a specific uh, person here inside LinkedIn, hidden to connect, and then you can ask for the recommendations and accomplishment for the actual uh, account. In my case, that will be the actual LinkedIn. And lastly, it's going to be the customizing your LinkedIn URL and the privacy settings. What you want to do is to personalize your LinkedIn URL to make it easy for others to find you. You want to adjust your privacy settings to control who can view your profile, connections, and activity. You can strike a balance between visibility and, of course, the actual privacy. Here, to edit your custom URL, go for the edit, and here you can custom URL most contains 3 to 100 letters and numbers. And hit now into save when you think you're actually good to go. And well, congratulations because you have successfully set up your LinkedIn profile to make a lasting impression on potential employees, clients, and collaborators. If you find this tutorial helpful, guys, give us a thumbs up, subscribe for more career development tips, and so much more. You remember that you constantly need to be updating your actual LinkedIn profile in order to have more opportunities for working here into LinkedIn. So guys, have lots of fun here into LinkedIn. Good luck with your new job. Until next time, happy networking.